let me paint a slightly exaggerated picture. But you, you, you know, you're working. Let's say forty hours a week. You're working. You're putting in a proper shift. Kids need a little bit more care than usual. Public transport is slightly scary. It's two bus rides to get to the vaccination centre. You thought you'd arrange childcare for when it was your turn to go, but the childcare let you down. Ha, ha, can we get any angle at all? on how many people who are eligible for the vaccine but have not taken it are doing so through circumstances rather than conviction. I know I ask a lot of you. Most days, actually. Some days I don't. Some days I am just sort of hand you the ball and, and set up an open goal on the switchboard. But, but I, I do often ask a lot of you. And, the, the, you know, the bigger the programme gets and the more fun we have together and the more successful the show becomes, the more I can ask of you, the more people are listening and the more successful the, 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 the tougher questions can be. But this is really important, all right, because you know and I know what this government will do in order to evade responsibility for their own actions. Just have a look at what's happening with regard to the Northern Ireland protocol at the moment. It hasn't even been six months yet. And the bloke who got a peerage for signing it is saying that we're going to have to scrap it. They've written to the European Union suggesting that unforeseen circumstances mean that they may have to pull out of the oven-ready deal that they signed on Christmas Eve. The unforeseen circumstances are people have now read the oven-ready deal that they signed on Christmas Eve. But, you know, as I say, we'll try not to relitigate that particular battle. It's just evidence of how low they will stoop. Farmers next, after the fishermen, the farmers now fear that they're about to be thrown under the Brexit bus. So you know, and I know, there is no depth unplumbed when it comes to covering their own asses for and evading responsibility for their own actions. They got elected on a platform of lies. They have to carry on lying. But I didn't think it would spread into COVID quite so completely and so quickly. And that's what is happening now. They let in the Indian variant. They failed to put India on the red list. They allowed 20,000 potentially infected people into the country to go and mix relatively freely across the population and they are now claiming that the reason why the Indian variant that they let into the country after failing to put India on the red list is the fault of people who haven't been vaccinated and they are trying to portray people who haven't been vaccinated as refuseniks, irresponsible idiots. A lot of people who are refusing the vaccine are idiots. Let me be absolutely clear about that. But the difference between refusing and not getting seems to me to be at the very heart of this story and that's what I need your help examining. Okay, you're eligible for the vaccine. How hard is it to access? And I worry slightly at the prevalence of London on these lists, three, four, five areas of London in the top 10, because I'd have thought it'd be really easy here, but then I'm quite naive, stroke ignorant. When it comes to the daily grind, the quotidian experience of working 50 or 60 hours a week or more, what if you're a, del you know, I know delivery drivers are generally younger, but if you're a zero hours contract, if you're driving a van delivering Amazon packages, we already know that you're weeing in bottles because you haven't got time for comfort breaks. We already know that you're running up and down roads because if you don't, you won't be able to, where the hell are you supposed to find the time to go for a vaccine? It's not a rhetorical question. That's what I want to know. You are eligible for the vaccine. How hard has it been where you are to get it? 0345 6060973. Because I'll tell you something for nothing. If this magnificent vaccine program stumbles in the home straight as a result of letting in the Indian variant and not recognizing that for many people, even getting an hour off work is close to impossible, well, my goodness me, there will be blood.